Another family destroyed for a <laughs> On Saturday, the 16th of October, Wanda Nara made it clear she was leaving Mauro Icardi. On Sunday, the 17th of October, Icardi didn't turn up at PSG training and posted this story that night. Everyone thought that the drama wouldn't go any further, but on Monday, the 18th of October, Wanda posted a new surprising Instagram story. I prefer my hand without a ring. Season 3 of You has just come out on Netflix, but it might be on this platform that you'll see the craziest love story this autumn. You has been out since October 15th, but the biggest emotional roller coaster started on Instagram on the 16th, the day after another bland performance from Mauro Icardi with PSG in Ligue 1. His wife and agent publicly announced she was leaving him. Another family destroyed for us. Kerr Weinstein, an influencer, also posted a screenshot of her private conversation with Wanda, in which you can read, I separated. Wanda unfollowed Mauro Icardi's account, deleted the majority of the context where she appears with the Argentine striker, and then jetted off to Milan. The first questions about this breakup were starting to be asked, like about the future of the player who's represented by the person who's just dumped him, when all of a sudden, Mauro Icardi responded on Instagram. He posted two pictures which made it seem like they were back together. This Instagram story, in which he made it look like he's with Wanda in Milan in the process of patching things up with his other half, and this post wishing a happy Mother's Day to his wife, ex future ex, we're not too sure. Happy Mother's Day! At that point, people following this drama said that it was the end of the weekend, the end of any excess, craziness, things would go back to order for the routine of the week. In short, everything was back to normal. Not at all. The day after Icardi's story, on the Monday morning, Wanda was on the counterattack. I prefer my hand without a ring. According to the Argentinian press, Wanda really has left Mauro Icardi. Early rumors suggest that he may have had an affair with China Suarez, an Argentinian actress. Wanda unsubscribed from the actress's Instagram account. As for China Suarez, she turned off comments on her profile and denied all rumors on the subject. Not long after the story about the wedding ring, we found out that Mauro Icardi was still not at PSG training, and that the day before an important Champions League match against Leipzig. While he may not be a starter for this match, the Messi, Mbappe, Neymar are expected to be used in this type of game, this private incident is having a sporting impact. PSG don't have another nine. What if an injury or a suspension require an emergency appearance from Mauro Icardi? The club allowed its striker to miss training on Sunday, but won't let him wander around aimlessly for days. Icardi hasn't been playing well enough for PSG for many months. Does his private life have a connection to this drop in form? Will it get worse? Without forgetting that Wanda Nara isn't just his wife or ex-wife, but also his agent. In short, this story is creating problems for everyone, including PSG. This new incident only adds to a love story that's already crazy and without parallel. A love story that's also considered the biggest betrayal in football history. Everything started in 2011, when Mauro Icardi finished his training at Sampdoria. He met another Argentinian striker who would become a good friend. This compatriot was Maxi Lopez, who had been married since 2008 to an Argentinian dancer and model. Who do you think she was? Wanda! Well played, friends. Maxi and Wanda have three kids, three boys. But in 2013, the marriage broke down. Maxi accused Wanda of cheating on him. Wanda accused Maxi of cheating on her, too. The Argentinian court went in favor of Wanda, but details of her affair made things even crazier. It was with Mauro Icardi, Maxi's friend and teammate. The story caused a scandal in the football world when the news came out in 2013. So much scandal that Diego Maradona came out with this cutting little punchline. For me, Icardi is a traitor. He goes into Maxi Lopez's home, he makes it seem like he's his friend, and then he stole his wife. That's betrayal. In his biography that came out in 2016, Mauro Icardi shed some light on this betrayal, explaining in detail his version of events. The day before I went to a friendly tournament in the United States, I got a message from Wanda. I was surprised because I would generally chat with Maxi, not with her. She asked me if I could buy her a new iPad in the USA. This message made Mauro think. It clearly also gave him hope. Hope that the PSG striker didn't want to see vanish. Did she really want a tablet or was she looking for an excuse to talk to me? Whatever. When I came back to Italy, I got in direct contact with Wanda. The iPad was the perfect excuse. Their chats then became more open and weren't just about tablets. 
Maxie and Mauro are close, but Mauro and Wanda gradually got closer and closer. One day, she wrote to me, Mauro, Max and I are going on a tour of the Aeolian Islands with Gonzalo Biargesio and his wife. Why don't you come with us? Obviously, I wanted to, so I went. And it was at this moment that their relationship became more concrete. So I found myself alone on the second floor of the boat. Wanda joined me and sat next to me, without any embarrassment. At this time, her relationship with Maxi Lopez wasn't going well. I understood. A few months after the announcement of the divorce in 2013, Mauro Icardi and Wanda Nara officialized their relationship before getting married in Argentina in 2014. After Maxi and Wanda's divorce, the young woman won custody of their kids. Custody that Icardi took advantage of to anger his ex-teammate and ex-friend. In June 2014, he got a tattoo of Maxi and Wanda's kids' names and then publicly thanked the tattoo artist on his Twitter account. And this was while Maxi Lopez, who was struggling being away from his kids, had asked Icardi to stop showing his kids on social media. Betrayal, provocation, scandal. This is how the love story between Mauro Icardi and the woman who would become his agent and then his wife started. This betrayal ruined Icardi's image in Argentina, while his career was only just starting out. This betrayal may have even gotten the Sicilian Mafia involved. The Mafia may have offered to take care of Mauro Icardi for Maxi Lopez. It's a rumor that was going around and a rumor that the young retiree didn't deny. Quite the opposite. I don't like to talk about this offer from the Mafia, but it really infuriated me to see my kids used to hurt me. Two years after the betrayal, Maxi and Mauro encountered one another on a pitch in Serie A as opponents. Maxi always played at Sampdoria. Mauro was making his way in football, and so was playing at Inter, a face-off that the Italian press called the Wanda Derby. Italian football was anticipating the pre-match handshake as much as the match itself. A handshake that never happened. Mauro offered his hand, but Maxi didn't even look at him. Ignoring and not getting involved in the vendetta, Maxi Lopez may have made the most rational decision in this entire irrational story. Even if, remember at the time when Wanda and Maxi's marriage was on its last legs? The Argentine player was accused of infidelity and from neglecting his kids. Mauro and Wanda's story has made the front pages on a number of occasions. For Icardi supposedly cheating in 2019. For the amount of sex they had. Yes, Wanda really did talk all about this. Wanda's comments have embarrassed Mauro at Inter and in Argentina on a number of occasions. The Nara family have on several occasions been called the Argentine version of the Kardashians. With Zaida, her model younger sister and television presenter who nearly married Diego Farlan. Nora, the all-seeing mother who sold stories on her love life. Andres, the father known for his business with the law, and even Carlos, who spent time in prison. Was Mauro Wanda's Kanye West? Maybe. One thing is certain, we've still not reached the end of this saga that is really like nothing else. Do you think this story will impact Mauro Icardi's current poor form? What do you think of this story? Let us know in the comments. See you very soon with another video. Goodbye everyone, and football, and love I guess, forever! If you like this video, stick with the theme of gossip and watch this. I'm sure you'll like it.